My next presenter is not only passionate about his job as a general manager, but he's also very passionate about giving to the society, whether it's charity, whether it is also being green hotel, and I'll let him more speak for himself. Please welcome Mr. Iftikhar Hamdani, General Manager, Ramada Finance Department. I'm ready. I'm anticipating. I'm making connection. I'm aware. I'm delightful and unappreciative. Thank you, Suzanne, <laughs> for your good teaching. For the last one year, we are in a strong contact. And I would like to say also thank you to Wyndham Executives. They have given us a chance to share with you a few of very good practices which are initiated by my team at Ramadan Iman. First of all, I just want to share with you that when, when I took a charge uh, just a few years back, the turnover of staff was 56%. Normally, it's normal in Northern Emirates because people always try to move here in Dubai or they are moving to Qatar with a lot, lot of opportunities. But it was very abnormal to see 56%. It was very challenging to see that there was no profit, profitability. So I thought that if I will not have a strong team, I cannot achieve any goal. So I focused myself to build a really strong team. And what I did, I started with, with activities and a lot of internal sports. And I know that one sport is not enough because it's a very multicultural place. I started cricket for the supporting people. I started football for the Arabs. I started basketball for my Filipino colleagues. So every Saturday, we cricket, every Monday football, and every Wednesday we are starting soon also basketball. We have three, four tournaments, which is the departmental de tournaments, which are creating a team building, because head of departments are also a part of team, general managers there, so it's, it's, it's creating a really a team, a real team, a winning team. Once we, one year we complete this, we thought that, okay, we will we start our annual Ajman also, and we can show that Ramada is, is leader. So we contacted Ajman Chamber of Commerce, and we hosted this football you know, championship uh, for all the hotels in Ajman. And it was really good that all the general managers, head of department, their families, they were there and we really enjoyed this tournament. And the Edman Chamber of Commerce recognized this. After that, we thought that why don't we invite everybody to Edman. I contact Bani and uh, Hussain. Thank you that they realized that yes, it's a good project. I present and we made it happen actually. All the, the hotels in, in Dubai, they came in Edman and we had a wonder, wonderful you know, event where the general managers were there, head of departments were there, and the families were there, and they participated in this great, great tournament. All the teams were there, everybody wanted to win, but again, many colleagues, they beat with each other, which they know each other since long time, but they, they were not aware that where, where we are. And now even they are connected with Facebook or uh, other social media. And I hope that Bani and uh, Hussain are in, in, and Panos are also in contact with us, Sooner we will have that the in winter one cricket tournament also for all the Ramada there. And I have some other plan also to go even on regional basis because I have a 400 rooms hotel. So I can invite even the regional teams to come and stay over there. I can. Our second activities, second act. We, we will definitely be in contact, but we don't play cricket. Yeah. Don't drag us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we will have all activities, inshallah. Cricket, basketball, and we will keep all the Ramada family happy. <laughs> Here there is another activity which is the community services are every mother day. This is the, the second years, you know, uh, we are going over there in elderly home. We are taking gifts, flowers and uh, cakes and we are spending time with, the, with our elders on every mother day. A few more uh, photos over here. And it's really, I mean, emotional, you know, touch that once you are going over there, most of the people are away from their families enjoying. And I saw a real tear of some of my staff when they are going, they are speaking, and quality time spending with them. We are donating, this is a twice a year activity, which we will increase, but initially we have a blood donation. And 120 staff they donated out of 240 staff last time, and many people who were going on the roads because the bus was there, so 25 people from outside, they also donated blood. This is very touching. I was watching the CNN report brought in Somalia, people were migrating from Somalia to Kenya, many people died, pregnant women, you know, which they showed over there, they are, uh, she's dying and families leaving her, and they are going everybody, no bread, no water, and people are really hungry. 
Next day I went and I had a, a meeting with all the staff and I told them that guys, alone one person cannot do anything. They are calling us, so we have to wake up and we have to do something. I told them that I am contributing my 10 day salary and don't think that what is your salary, but contribute some, something, even if it is one dirham. Believe me that in 14 days we had a 15,000 dirham check which we have donated you know, to Human, Human Appeal International. They have given this 200 families food and they came back and they have given us a big presentation you know, in videos and even in photos also, putting Ramada's signature everywhere. While it was not a PR purpose, but that we wanted to show that if we really want to do something, we can do a, a lot. There was a, a typhoon you know, in, in Philippines. We contacted Philippine Embassy and everybody you know, donated the amount and we have handed over to Philippine Embassy. Uh, during last Ramadan, there was a devastated uh, flood you know, in, in Pakistan. And what we did at Shadi Expo, they are now a very active uh, Ramadan festival. Every day there are 10,000 people you know, visiting in Shadi Expo. I contacted them that if you can give us a free uh, place, we can sell food and whatever food uh, income will come uh, or revenue will come, we will donate you know, immediately to the Pakistan Social Center uh, President. And the same night, you know, we have handed over the check to, to the President. These were the community services. Other than that, we have a few more which I don't want to, to highlight. These were the major one. Last one is commitment to Wyndham Green. 22nd April, uh, we received a letter 18 or 19 from Wyndham that there is a day and you people have to do this, this, this. And how we started our day? We had a morning briefing on that, on that day, a garden in front of the hotel. So we start our day switching off the light in the meeting room, no AC, and we were under sunlight. So message went to the staff, nobody used, you know, staircases, and it was really education and to involve everybody. And the same message went to the guests because that is a peak time when people are going to the, to the meetings, 336 room, I have every day 350 breakfast. So people when they were going over there, they have seen that what is happening, everybody learned, and it was a great initiative and great uh, education to the guests and the staff also. This is the art hour, as Gada mentioned, we have done a little different, we sent letter to all the guests and in the morning we were giving awareness that everybody will be together in the lobby 8.30 and lights will be off. So staff, uh, our, our management and the guests, all of them, they were holding the candles and we were in the lobby and it was really a very good message and very good atmosphere. Now we are going to something big, a very big. This is a wish to have a zero landfill, you know, like for Ramada Iman. We have started this project for last four months. The same way as Radha mentioned, you know, I like it that someone is doing really such thing over there in Qatar also. Challenging job for us, but we have started with the company Ames in Adwan. We are in a process of screening and we came to know that Ramada Adwan every day, we have 950 to 1 ton waste during the screening. And the, really it's a shame for us that we are really land filling with a one ton you know, at Ramada Adwan. It's a big hotel, largest hotel in, term, in, in terms of number of rooms in, in Northern Emirates and uh, we have a benefiting capacity of 1000 so sometimes we have a function of 800, uh, more than 800 so big waste is going out. Now we, we study and we are on the right direction and it's my aim that by end of June or inshallah July I will share a good news that we will have really 90% recycle inshallah and in future we will contact with each other and we will learn your practices and our practices will share with you but we are dedicated by chef Executive housekeeper is dedicated along with the, with the team. I don't have a time to really speak because there is a big project and it uh, needs really a time to share. But if you want to learn something, I will be available, send email and I will share you all the minutes. We are doing twice a year beach cleaning at uh, Ajman beaches. We are keeping our uh, beaches clean over there. We attended the World Green Tourism uh, in, in Abu Dhabi. It was great show. We, we learned from the people that when suppliers are coming and delivering the deliveries to you, they made, you know, I mean compulsory that once you are delivering things, you have to switch up your engine, even on that level. So we learned such things and we have now the plan, like first quarter, second quarter and last quarter. And inshallah ta'ala, we, we are hoping that we will reach even more than the people, you know, we, we listen from them, we will achieve much more. Maida, she is the head of our Green Committee. We have very active Green Committee and she is doing a lot and she has attended this Green Forum in Ajman also. Thank you very much. Just want to share with you, we have many activities.
mean, maybe somebody will think that doing all these activities, maybe we are leaving our things aside, you know. But believe me, that in this year, you know, and last year and this year, we have unbelievable bottom line, very strong bottom line. Owner is happy, you know, he is very happy, and I got whatever I want from my staff, either is a bonuses, increment, whatever. But these are the blessing of Allah that doing all these activities we are getting in return. But we are very, I mean, uh, good in business. We are living in terms of occupancy in Northern Emirates. And beside that, we engage ourselves in these activities also. Thank you. to see such initiatives and to set us all a wonderful example and being a great ambassador. Thank you.